What's going on guys, my name is Tom and welcome back to Diamond Studios. First of all guys, I just want to wish all of you a happy new year. I hope all of you have had a fantastic Christmas break and are just ready to take on, well, 2022. In today's video guys, I'm going to be giving you all an update on the channel in general because for, like, for the last few years, the only updates that we were doing were sort of Star Wars of Fallen Legacy related and we, we never really spoke about the channel in general because well just because of how much of a priority our upcoming brit film is we never really sat down like right this is the plan for the channel this is what we're going to do we've got this we've got that and i feel like to start off the new year that we need to have a sit down we need to have a chat about where we go from now and um hopefully all the exciting things that dms is going to offer so the first thing i want to talk about we're going to go back a little bit we're going to go back to 2021 because um we haven't really spoken about that year mainly because for diamond studios it was a very stagnant year for content there wasn't a lot going on obviously that was because of well still working on afl however there was obviously obviously there was a lot sort of going on behind the scenes we're still obviously animating we're still um doing all the special effects etc etc but it was a big year for me, pretty much. 2021 was essentially this huge emotional roller coaster full of highs and lows. It was the year that I graduated from university with a first class honours degree in film production. It was the year uh, I got my first full time job, which I'm still working at um, and I'm really grateful for. But yeah, so 2021 mad year for me absolutely mad year and with 2022 obviously has arrived this is just an opportunity to really start afresh with a sort of more optimistic mindset and really you know hit the ground running pretty much and i will say though that with sort of the low side of things of 2021 obviously that did incorporate with the fallen legacy because you know, it was another situation where I was still working hard to try and make sure we can get a lot of this production done. And obviously, progress has been made, which is fantastic, but not as much as I wanted. We're still animating, even though we're almost done. Uh, we're still editing, uh, but there's some difficulties there. Uh, we've hired two new um, VFX artists who are working on some of the sequences so we're in this position where obviously we're still working on the brick film and as i mentioned before in previous videos this is videos that i released last year and the year before that pretty much we're in a position where a fallen legacy is pretty much postponed indefinitely which means essentially we are still working on it that's 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 the important thing we are still working on it what I mean by sort of postponed indefinitely is that I just have no idea when I'm going to release this. I was trying to aim for a De uh, December release for like the last few years and I just don't know when I'm going to get this brick film done. I, ha I literally have no idea when it's going to be done, how far we're off. All I know is in terms of animation wise, we're almost a good sort of 95% done pretty much. I animated quite a lot uh, last year and I animated quite a quite a lot you know in 2020 i'm really quite impressed by what has been achieved there's so many wonderful shots in there guys and there's some cinematography that i never really thought i would be able to achieve in this and so hopefully you know you guys are going to really like it i just can't wait to sh you know to show you guys i've shown a few people a couple of the shots towards the end of the brick film uh, some action sequences and whatnot, and uh, yeah, they were all quite impressed by it. And I gotta admit, it's probably some of my favourite work that I've that I've done. But yeah, so a fallen legacy is essentially postponed indefinitely, which obviously a lot of you will probably be quite disappointed by. Uh, I know a lot of you are quite. I mean, a lot of you are patient, but there's some, there's a there's a certain minority who aren't, <laughs> uh, who pretty much just want this thing to come out. But what I will say, though, guys, is that I will not cancel it. I will not cancel this production because so much has already been done already. It would be ridiculous to just suddenly just like, no, nope, we're cutting the line. We can't do this. 
And I, I, I would hate to do that. I would hate to just say, right, we're cancelling it and moving on to something else. That is the last thing that I will do because I, I, just, I just don't want to do that. What I do want to talk about, though, is sort of the, the future of Darwin Studios because um, I've had a lot of really interesting ideas for where I want to take the channel and what I want to do. And um, and I want to sort of touch upon them. Now, I will probably do a future video of me discussing what's coming up, but that will probably be at a time when Fawn Legacy is actually released. Just because I think a lot of pe a lot of you are probably thinking, "Oh, where's the channel gonna go now?" You know. So I'm gonna essentially this vid essentially this this part of this video is gonna be sort of hinting towards what's to come. Um, so one thing I have sort of spoken about previously was the idea of moving back to sort of smaller animations. But what I want to do is I want to return to sort of the either the sort of the serialized episodes um you know br brick series essentially you know returning to doing something like that or i'm um, i'm even contemplating on working on sort of 5 to 10 minute animations which will either be sort of standalone or maybe in some sort of anthology series or something well, that's essentially what the plan is and there's a couple of things i also want to experiment as well um, in terms of what I can show like in camera and not special effects wise so um, though I won't be returning to the infamous clay that I had for Conquest of the Empire I do want to add some sort of more practical elements um, into the animation and I've seen a couple of clips where people have used a certain technique to get a certain effect and I really want to explore that and I think that would be quite a nice sort of visual thing to do the channel will essentially reverse into something where uh, it will just be quite normal. There won't be anything sort of big going on. It will just sort of focus on working on small independent animations just for fun. And, I mean, even working on AFL, it is just for fun. But obviously we've taken a quite a big sort of professional mood and we've treated it as if it was like a big production. Um, but obviously you got to think about the reality of these things, you know, I'm obviously at work right now, um, uh, I'm, I'm in a job, so a lot of my time will be dedicated to that, you know, I won't have a lot of time to go off and make these big animations anymore, so that's one of the reasons why I think going back to the small sort of animation thing, that's, you know, I mean, obviously I have the idea of doing brick series, you know, so we're talking 15 to 20 minute animations, but, you know, it then again, it's like they will probably only be in sets of like three episodes a season or something just because I just don't have that much time. One thing I would say that I am sort of thinking about is obviously if one legacy, we're very much closer to finishing the animation side of things. However, when it comes to the editing and the special effects, that's where we're very much behind. And so what I'm thinking is while we're still working on the editing the, and the, sort of the the edit, the, the post-production side of a Fortnite Legacy, I feel like whenever there's long periods of time where nothing's going on, I feel like that's when I will start doing the smaller animations and that kind of stuff. Because the thing is, at least it will mean that you guys will get some videos. It will mean that you guys are getting some nice animations and you don't have to wait so long to get them even though obviously in the background we're still working on the main big feature. I feel like that's something that will be quite nice to do and I think it's probably the right move. I think a lot of you guys will, you know, appreciate the, you know, uploading new you know, animations obviously while AFL is still in production. So, you know, but the thing with these small videos though, guys, is that they could literally be anything I want. They don't have to be just tied to like Star Wars or science fiction. It could be anything. I mean, if you guys have got ideas for animations that you want us to, you know, attempt, uh, whether it's an original idea or whether it's like a fan film idea, send it to us, you know, give us, give us synopsis because we might look at it and thinking, oh, that's actually quite a really nice idea. I might just use that, you know. We're up for we're up for dis up for discussion, you know, a lot a lot of these things. So you, why not? So that's very much where we are with sort of Darwin Studios. And as I said before, we're gonna have a a, a video in the future where where we're gonna discuss pretty much where we're at because there are a lot of things that obviously I'm sort of saving for that video. 
but there are and there's, there, there's some other stuff as well which uh, I would bring up but um, it's just the case of making sure we know where we sort of stand at the moment and um, yeah I think I think it's going to be quite good anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber there is no better time than now I highly recommend checking out our Instagram page mainly because that's pretty much where we post all our behind the scenes so anything which we're working on currently we will upload there like that's usually the first place we will upload uh, whether it's you know behind the scenes photo or if it's a casting call or or anything that's usually the first place to go to so I highly recommend if you are a subscriber of this channel do follow the Instagram page at least because you get so much more updates than than what you get on here obviously we have a Facebook page and a Twitter page which you can follow we don't upload there as often but we still have it but we also have a discord server uh, which obviously there's all links in the description box below um, so you can just click on click on it and join the discord server Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you soon. Goodbye everyone.